can read. Harry the penguin, penguin always wondered why. If he was a bird, bird, why couldn't he fly? He would flap his wings fast with all of his might. He'd flap them all. And flap them all. Night. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He would run. He, he would jump. He would spin all around. But he never went up. Perry always stayed. Then an idea popped in Perry's head. He'd build his own plane. And he'd fly that instead. Perry spent every moment at work on his He would build in the light. He would build in the rain. Perry didn't stop building except once to Then early one morning, his plane was complete with a song in his heart. Perry took to the sky, proving once and for all that a uh, Can fly. Puppies play day. I'm off to play. Mommy said the Before she kissed her goodbye and turned toward the door. But the puppy didn't go. And she turned around and said, Should I bring my toy plane or my toy? Instead, then the puppy decided she knew what to do. She'd take her car and her plane and her toy guitar too. Wait, said the puppy. Still not ready to play. Miss Piggy will miss me if I go away. So she grabbed her stuffed pig and her elephant 
too. And her... Penguin. Her... Frog. And her wooden canoe. Finally, the... Puppy. Needed just one more thing. Mommy, she wondered, which way is the... Door. Ernie song. One night, night. Ooh, 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 ooh. as he lay down to sleep, in his bed, Ernie the elephant heard a song in his head. Ernie knew that this song could make him a star. So he first tried to play it on his old guitar. The was too little for Ernie to play. So he tried a piano. He pounded away, but like the guitar, the piano was too small. When he tried playing Wonky, he would play them all. Ernie picked up the phone and called Fran the frog. Fran, Ernie said, I need help with my song. To finish the band, Ernie didn't go far. The puppy next door could play the guitar. Fran played piano. She Jump. Key to key. While the puppy would play a guitar melody after singing his song with, with the band, Ernie knew he would soon be a And his friends would be too. Diving days. Frederick the frog was was the star of the lake. Fans loved to go look at the dives he would make with a. And, uh, jump. Fred would leap off a log and he splash in the lake, and the fans would applaud. Then, early one morning, Fred looked up to see another frog. Fran dive. From a tree. Fran flipped and twisted around as she fell. And after her splash, the fans cheered and yelled. 
So that very night, Frederick told his fans he would dive down from a spot higher up in the tree. And Fred did his dive, but then Fran did another. Neither frog would stop trying to out jump the other. Once each frog had climbed to the top of the tree, Fran said, this is silly. Fred said, I agree. The frogs then shook hands and climbed down from the tree and formed the world's most famous diving frog team. Oink a doodle doo. Each night. A little pig wished on a star that she could just one time wake up the farm. But the rooster said no, like he always did. That's a job for a bird. And you're just a pig. What if I build a bird suit the pig asked please Rooster. please just give me a chance okay said the rooster we'll race around the pond. The winner will wake up the, the farm from now on. The pig trained hard. She would run near and far, but the rooster showed to the race in a car. The car went way faster than the little pig could run. Oh, happy day, crowed the rooster. I won. And the Continue to yell and rejoice, and by the next morning, he had lost his voice. So that day, the animals all woke up to the oinks of a pig whose dream had come true.